Uh, it's like 8.30 on Wednesday. I got a gig tonight, so we're going to do behind the scenes of that. So, uh, yeah, let's get it started. Got some class and stuff at 10. It's about 8.30 now. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother... All right, I gotta go, uh, get the pup, hands in the camera, sorry. It's wetter than I thought, it's like shiny, which I don't normally longboard in, but it was on accident. Gotta go get some food, because I uh, haven't gone grocery shopping, totally busted that guy. Um, I, I've needed to go shopping for like a week, I've needed to shave for a week. I was supposed to send business cards yesterday, I was supposed to work out and edit a vlog, so after today I'm gonna be two vlogs behind. Been, been a little, a little hectic, but that's all right. Uh, gonna grab food here, then I got class for two hours, then trying to shed and edit this vlog in time. So here we go. I totally forgot I was vlogging today, so I didn't get any shots of class or the food or anything. It's a bag with cream cheese and coffee if you're interested. Still wet out and downhill, which makes this like the sketchiest ride ever, because when you put your foot down and slide down, it just slides. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go edit a vlog, upload it, work out, warm up, gig. That's the plan. I think it'll all fit. We'll see. Oh God. <laughs> There's one thing I gotta do first. Pre-vlog edit. Otherwise I'm gonna forget for another week. All right, last night was kind of weak, so I bailed on the workout. It was all messed up and like, I was just, my mind was like all over the place and I couldn't focus and I was really tired. So I called it early, so I didn't, I didn't go work out or do anything like that. But uh, I'm going to now try to get it in. It's four. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna try to do like my hand routine, my foot routine to uh, warm up for this gig and then work out, <laughs> come up, shower, go to the gig. Rocking, uh, rocking socks and shorts here. Uh, yeah, that's what's going on. Here we go. Hey, um, so <laughs> uh, it was like a really short crammed workout, uh, not even like almost what I wanted to get done. So I'm gonna have to put some stuff onto leg day still yet. Um, but it's like almost six. I got a shower, get to the shrine. We play at seven. Luckily the shrine's closed, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on. Now I was gonna start like the gig behind the scenes prep stuff. So it's gonna be more exciting. All right. All right, dressed, got all my sticks, got the GoPro for some video, tripod. Symbols, gig time. Woo. Welcome, welcome to the, welcome to the drums. There's Max. I'm gonna try to get your clamps right over there.
finished the gig I've like it was cool you know there were some things that happened on both sides of the fence as far as good or bad and then uh, someone isn't able to make a show so now I'm gonna go to the jazz center and see Eric Carlin play with a bunch of monsters pretty uh, pretty solid Wednesday night oh and class is canceled tomorrow I don't have school anyways but it's okay uh, it might end here it might be uh, jazz center with the GoPro cuz my phone's gonna die peace hey I can't see myself this is weird Times Square uh, train station to go to Jazz Center to transfer. And everything's running local because it's supposed to blizzard tomorrow. I love Times Square. Yeah. What? I do. So, sorry. Um, now I just forgot what I was going to say. Oh, dude, I need. Look at this. I need new pants. I got to waddle. My pants don't fit. My belt's not small enough. If anyone wants to donate, I think I'm going to start a GoFundMe. Thanks for all the love. Yeah, look at look at all the jazz. <laughs> Hell yeah. Still still taking exceptions for the GoFundMe for new pants. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Good. Uh, my friend should be there all the time. It is. Pretty great seats. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me try to adjust this so it's more comfortable to hand. Sorry if this angle's weird. I hope you can see me. It's the GoPro, so I don't know how any of this is going to go or sound. Uh, <laughs> man. So I'm walking down Amsterdam, looking down at Midtown. I can see the Empire State Building. Coming from having played a gig, they went pretty well, respectively. And then getting offered a free ticket to go see Eric Carlin at the Jazz Gallery with these amazing musicians. And uh, it's dope. And I, I don't know, I feel like I don't normally share like a lot of really like personal gushy stuff. But um, earlier today too, I put up a post on Facebook about the future and looking forward and feeling like I want to work and get stuff done. And uh, it's, man just like seeing everything that I want to have come into reality and feeling so motivated and waking up and like I feel hungry and you know like my heart's been jittery lately because I've been having lots of caffeine to get all my stuff done I've been chewing gum to try to like ease my nerves you know my hands have been kind of like shaky <laughs> money stuff's not going super great while I'm waiting for this refund check um, there's like chaos with trying to plan stuff and book stuff and try to get some things lined up for projects this coming few weeks, projects in April, long-term projects, stuff with like some Instagram businessy things and like it's a lot of stuff that like I try to have this be behind the scenes but I haven't really been sharing that much and I'm I went to the gig today and I was kind of in a bad mood like I didn't get as much done as I wanted to beforehand I didn't get a full workout in like it was kind of rough I forgot to ask Max to bring his keyboard luckily he brought it which was super sick because otherwise we wouldn't have had the show and a lot of people showed up, even though everyone like bailed on me last minute. There were just a lot of people that were already at the venue, so it paid well. Like it was super, super fun. Um, regardless of everything that happened, like a professor showed up to check it out, which was super dope. Uh, I don't know. It's like <laughs> it's pretty crazy having a, uh, I don't know, going from that stress to not and feeling really good about everything through music is uh, is really like phenomenal, and I think it's part of why I do it. 
yes, I think it's why I do it. It just, uh, I don't know, it's special to have all those feelings from it. And seeing the stuff at the Jazz Gallery tonight was really special. And the music was super moving and the compositions were super moving. And the drummer was phenomenal. He's been one of my heroes since I first got into like modern jazzy stuff, whatever that even means. But <clears throat> this is just like <laughs> times like this where everything's like really rough and feels like it's falling apart and still comes together. That kind of pushes me to keep going. So I just figured I'd come on and share that <laughs> for the end of the vlog. Anyone out there that's feeling similar stuff, I think it happens to everybody. But I think the only thing they can do is keep going forward and uh, still striving, not aiming to settle anytime soon. And man, if this uh, if this dream that I see every time I close my eyes is at all as possible as I think it is, it's going to be pretty cool one day. So <laughs> until then, working my ass off to make damn sure I give it a valiant effort. All right, that's the end of this stuff that I normally avoid. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for telling friends, not telling friends. Sorry you didn't like the video. Glad you enjoyed it. There's stuff below. Don't check the stuff below if you don't care. All that jazz. Jazz. All right, I need to leave. Bye. <laughs> mm -hmm.